For the observability, we're using the reference implementation in the Open Digital Lab. What this diagram is showing is that the canvas consists of a number of standard services, which would be the same in every implementation, and a set of services which are implementation specific. So in our reference implementation, we've chosen to use a service mesh based on Istio, which comes with this observability user interface called Kiali. And we've chosen to use Prometheus as the time series database to capture our observability events. And you can do things like build dashboards in Grafana. But these are actual choices you could implement your own version of a canvas and have your own systems for capturing the observability events and for actually creating user interfaces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the observability looks like and then I'm going to show how it works. If I look at this Kiali user interface, so this is a component that I deployed a few minutes ago and it's showing the scope of the component and these are all the internal microservices and services within that component. And these lines represent traffic that's gone between these microservices. And I've got some test harnesses throwing some test data at this component. That's generating traffic and the observability is then showing these lines showing that it can see that traffic. And this is showing this is HTTP traffic. And at the moment, I'm getting a, an OK response, so a HTTP 200 response. So it's saying, actually, for this, I'm getting a good response. And that's the product catalog API. It's storing data in a Mongo database. And this is a TCP connection. And so for TCP connections, I can see the traffic. You can't actually see whether it's, it's successful or not. And so with this observability, I can click on any one of these links, and I can drill down into any part of my application and see what's going on inside. It's based on me having sent a whole load of test data. If I want to test an error test, then I've got this query which is actually going to search for products which don't exist, just to show that in the observability, these links should start to turn amber and then red, and I should see some error traffic in the observability data. So you can see that this link has turned red because now I'm getting 404 errors or 400 errors, and that counts as a HTTP error. And so showing my observability, the links turn red so I can actually see what's going on inside of my system. So that's the observability in action, but how does it actually work? Now, the way in which it works is it's using the Istio service mesh, which when you configure the Istio service mesh, it installs an Envoy proxy as a sidecar into every pod alongside the application microservices. So effectively, I don't have to do anything as part of the deployment automatically. It sets up these proxies and these proxies are able to then capture the traffic inbound and outbound into every one of my microservices. And as well as that giving me a level of control, I can also capture that as metrics data and so it sends the metrics data to a prometheus time series database and from that data you can build these different user interfaces and i can show prometheus itself as well so i can actually inter interact with that data so prometheus has a very simple user interface and if i run some queries on the prometheus data so for example We've seen so far just some network rate data. I can show some data about the CPU utilization of the different microservices in my cluster. And so there is a metric CPU usage seconds. I'm taking a rate average over 10 minutes. And if I execute that, and show it as a graph. This is showing the CPU utilization of every one of the microservices within my cluster. So this is the base observability data, which is the technical observability of what's going on inside my component. But we can also add business data into the metrics. So what we've done in our example product catalog component, we've got a metrics microservice, which is exposing an API as part of the management interface for my component. 
and the metrics microservice it's basically registering for updates to any API calls into my product catalog. So the open APIs as a standard, they support an event notification pattern. And so I can register that anytime there's, a, there's an event of a creation or an update or a delete of any one of the catalog entities, I can capture that and get the report or metrics from that. And I'm doing that and I'm exposing that into my management interface and Expose is very, very simple. All you have to do is in the, the manifest for your component, there's a management section and in it you can say, I'm, I have a metrics interface. We're using a Prometheus API type and then it's got some details about where it's implemented. But by adding this, the system will automatically configure Prometheus to capture that business metrics data. And I'll show in the status, I can show these are the targets that Prometheus is scraping. And by having that in my component manifest, automatically it configures Prometheus to scrape. And see here is the, that metrics interface on my product catalog component that Prometheus is scraping. And you see it's scraping, last scraped it 13 seconds ago, and it's saying that the state is up. And again, I can go and query that data through the Prometheus interface. And this is a very simple interface, but I could, you know, for example, build Grafana dashboards with this metrics data. And so I go and build a query. So if I say product, so you see, this is the metric it's created, the product catalog API counter. And if I query on that, I'm getting some data it's saying there have been some category creation and product specification creation. That was my test data I send in this to this component. I can show it on a graph. And normally you'd look at this as a rate. So I can say I want to look at the rate for these different metrics being created. And again, if I look at that over a 10 minute interval and I can graph that data. And so this is showing the test data I've been injecting into my component, showing the metrics observability data in this simple Prometheus interface, but you can imagine you could build Grafana dashboards or any other dashboards you wanted to have as part of your business observability.